but welcome back to my hands. I'm Tia, I upload four times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I do mostly synthetic wig related content, multicultural, inclusive, but today I'm doing a nail video. If you saw my other um, video about these gel nails that were gifted to me from Nail Addict and this either, this little UV lamp, I decided that I wanted to put on and try this Kiss Brush on Nail Kit. I decided I wanted to try this and then use the nails. So I did get this brush on nail kit just to put the nails on. And then I also got this Sensational, Sensational, Sensational Gel Primer Base and Top Coat because I didn't get a top coat with the Nail Addict. I didn't realize I needed it. And you need the UV light for this. So let's do this nails first and see how these work. I've watched a bunch of tutorials and videos on this and I will link the playlist down below where I put them all in a, I think it's like a gel nails playlist so you can go and visit those because I've been wearing press, Kiss Press on Nails and Glue on Nails for like 10 years. I haven't had my nails done in this way. I've never used gel polish. So I did do a lot of research so that I would be more informed. So this is the Kiss bring the salon home brush on nail kit um it comes with 48 nails half of them are french tips and then half of them are clear i'm gonna use the clear one so that we can use the polish it says it dries in five minutes and no lamp needed in one of the videos i watched it was a professional using this and so it's not like gel nail um it's a gel formula but it's not technically gel nails so like just know that the polishes and this from Sensation L are, um, she was just saying basically if you don't need the UV lamp to cure the gel, then it's not like gel nails. So, I'm not a professional, so please watch the videos that I watched. They're very informative, but I just wanted to test this out. I believe this was $9.99. It was under $10. Um, and it did, does say that it is great for beginners, mistake proof application and it's the quickest soak off time and then you can use gel polish on top which is what we will do so let's get this open i've watched several videos on people um utilizing this system so i'm not going to read the instructions because i memorize them based on watching so many videos here's the nails um it comes with the gel kit or the gel the activator and the cleaner. I am going to go ahead and include some tips that I learned while I was watching the videos. Um, but I do know it's important. And I've prepped my nails already. I took care of the cuticles and I uh, filed them and everything. It comes as this really nice uh, file and buffer, so that's nice. But I do know, yeah, right here, if you can see that you do need to keep them in order so it needs to go gel activator and then cleaner okay i'm also going to get a paper towel and then what i'm going to do is measure the nails and set them out so that i can start putting them on okay just so you know kitten is right here next to me so i will have a friend so the first thing i'm going to do is just go ahead and measure out the nails I've been getting out of bed these past few days Think it's fair to be proud about it I've quit ordering from all those fast food chains I'm feeling better, there's no doubt about it And my days are brighter, my shoulders are so much lighter Just for a moment there, I thought that there was nothing more to life I thought about it so it says to use this gel brush on gel put it on the backs of these set them on the nail to set and just continue to do that on each nail once you're done with that you're supposed to use this cleaner and brush along where the nail meets your the tip meet your nail and brush along the seam there seam seam there and then buff if necessary but do not over buff so i'm going to go ahead and do that i am drinking some spicy vegetable juice in my lemon cup because i'm loving with lemons so 
Let me do that. I feel so frustrated. And I make it so damn complicated for myself. My world seems like it's deflating. Oh, but I have to smile throughout it for everyone else. Sometimes I wanna fly. this one here it lifted on the side a little bit so I did file it just to really concentrate um, on those areas you're not supposed to file it too excessively but I feel like I don't like the lifting on the side so and you're supposed to go through with uh, two layers of this stuff so the next thing we're supposed to take these tabs off just bend them you're not supposed to twist them they come off pretty easy. One thing that I did uh, learn so far is if you don't wait until it adheres, it will lift up. So you wanna make sure that you do that. If you saw my nails were in pretty bad shape, so I did end up on some of them needing to put this tip down a little bit. I don't think it matters with these ones because I'm gonna cover them anyway with a color. But I think if you were doing the French tips, you wouldn't wanna make sure that, you, that your nails were fairly long. The next thing that we're supposed to do is we're supposed to take this gel, okay? Put on a thin coat, not to get it on the skin. And then what we do is the activator does not have a brush. So you are supposed to take the brush from the cleaner and use that to apply this activator. Now, a lot of tips that it doesn't, it says it sort of, but it doesn't say it enough, I think, in the directions. Um, once you use the activator, so you use the activator. So let's do it, and then I'll tell you. So we're going to do one layer of this gel and just brush it on just like you would. A regular polish you want to make sure you don't get stuff like on your cuticle or skin okay so then you take this cleaner all right and you pull the brush out of it you put it in the activator and you go ahead and do a thin layer you can see it's sort of filling in the seam too which is nice then you're supposed to wipe this brush off and put it in the cleaner, not in the activator, so that this brush doesn't get hardened, okay? So I'm gonna go through and do the rest of the nails. I've been getting out of bed these past few days. Think it's fair to be proud about it. I quit ordering from all those fast food chains. I'm feeling better. No doubt about it. And my days are brighter, my 
coat you're supposed to do two coats some people have used them have used three coats but um, since I'm going to be painting them with a the gel polish I'm just going to do the two coats and some of them I can see that uh, the seam is completely covered and adhered to and in a few of them I can see like little gaps like this one so I'm going to make sure on this second round that I really concentrate and take care of that all right so I'm going to go ahead and do the second coat so far, they're so good. They, I think they look cute. Okay, so I'm not going to put a full third coat on, but I am going to go over and add a little bit where I can see that maybe there needs to be some filled in. So I'm just going to do that and then okay. I'll be back. So I have finished putting the tips on. I let it dry longer. It says something like five minutes or whatever. Um, No. It still feels... What does it say? I thought it was like, it says it like dries within five minutes. Yeah, dries in under five minutes. I mean, no. I think as you get more layers on, it's not going to dry that quickly. Um, I also did notice that the brush for the gel is like hard now. I'm gonna try and put it in the cleaner and see what happens. But I feel like you gotta make sure that you are using this brush fast and uh, tightening it. Like, do you see this? It's like hardened. So if you were gonna use this again, you'd almost need like a different brush. I looked at the directions again and seeing if like it was supposed to not do that, but I don't um, see anything that is giving me that impression. The cleaner is helping a little bit. I think maybe soaking this in like acetone um, might be helpful too. So I'm gonna tighten this one up. This one, after like using it for the activator and, and bringing it back to this cleaner, that's not hardened at all. I also feel like a lot of gel was used because you're supposed to, like theoretically, I should have at least two, because there's two different sets. It says there's, it says two full manicures, but that's two full um, of each, like one, two. But I could do another manicure with both of these. So I, it, you know, it depends on your size of your hands. But I think I could actually get four out of this. I don't know. I know that they sell this separate. So I may have to get uh, another one of those. But you can see the seam. Now, if that doesn't bother you or whatever, that's fine. Um, if you're going to put polish over it, it's not going to matter. I think it would matter more on the white tips. And the one uh, video that I watched... Um, the professional one used this. She did mention that, um, that you'd want the white tips to be up a little higher, which also makes them not as strong. I have mine down lower than she does, and they do feel like they would be strong. If you can see on the back part, there's not much of the nail going over my actual skin. I still, they do still feel tacky. More the ones that I kind of went over a third time and on this hand. So I'm gonna let them dry a little bit longer. But in the meantime, I'm gonna just buff off this where I clip those things off. I'm gonna just buff those off. I tell you for sure that tonight will be different. I promise you'll understand. As the moon rises, the dark sets upon us. And then I will take your hand. Tell you that I want you and that I need you Tell me that you understand and I will tell you that I want you So I've had this on for like a half an hour. It seems pretty dry. I do still feel like there's a little bit of like a tackiness to a couple of them. So that's something to keep in mind. The other thing is I will try to zoom in. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this. There's actually a uh, cat hair underneath one of the layers so that's just something to think about so this is the final result and so far i'm feeling good i'm going to film another video using the gel polishes from nail addict and so i'm really excited to do that i really like this color here 
and I'll be utilizing this as a primer and top coat. So you will see that coming up. I'm actually going to try to put these videos up like right one after another. So yeah, if you like this type of video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and then hit the bell and hit the bell again so you get all the notifications. I upload at least four times a week, but often more. And if you have subscribed, you're my doll baby. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.